press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell button for upcoming new videos relationship between trigonometric ratios of acute and obtuse angle so here we have a diagram here in this diagram this black line is a straight line and the upper part of this straight line is divided between two angles this the angle on the right hand side it is acute angle and the second one is obtuse angle this 150 degree is obtained by subtracting this acute angle from 180 degree and 180 minus 30 is 150 now we are going to find the sign of acute and obtuse angle and then we compare their ratios so sine 30 which is 1 over 2 sine 150 we obtain we got this 150 by subtracting 30 from 180 sine 150 is 1 over 2 therefore we can see here the sine of acute angle and obtuse angle having the same numerical ratios take second example sine 60 it is under root 3 over 2 and sine 120 we obtain this 120 by subtracting 60 from 180 this is under root 3 under root 3 over 2 once again we have seen that sine of acute and obtuse angle having the same ratio in sine trigonometric ratio let's compare the ratios of cos of acute and obtuse angle cos 30 it is under 3 over 2 cos 150 it is under 3 over 2 but with negative sign cos 60 1 over 2 cos 120 It is 1 over 2 with negative sign. So in sign, the sign of acute and obtuse angle having the same ratio with same sign. But in cause we have found that the acute and obtuse angle having the same ratio. But there is a negative sign with obtuse angle. Now see the comparison between tangent acute and obtuse angle. Tangent 30. It is under 3 over 3 tangent 150 it is sorry tangent 150 it is under root 3 over 3 but negative with the negative sign tangent 60 under root 3 and tangent 120 It is negative under root 3. So, therefore, in cos and tangent, they have the same uh, same behavior. Tangent acute and tangent obtuse angles having the same numerical values, but there is a negative sign with obtuse, obtuse angle. Now, uh, after learning these uh, conclusions from sine, cos and tangent, we can apply these rules on on one example here we have an example here and here this right angle there is a right angle triangle on the left uh, right hand side and and this line black line which is a part of this triangle also this ang this line is divided between two angles the angle a and the angle a dash so the angle A is in the uh, is the part of a right angle triangle and there is another angle on other side of this triangle that is obtuse angle. And in, in this right angle triangle we also have dimensions here. So let's see the comparison now. So this angle A which is inside the triangle it is acute angle and the angle on the left hand side of this is obtuse angle. So first see this 
what is sine of this angle A? As this is right angle triangle, so sine of this angle A will be perpendicular over hypotenuse. So that is that is 8 over sine 90. So we and we know that the sine of this A dash that is obtuse angle, and we have already learned the sine of acute and obtuse angle having the same same numerical ratio and same uh, same and positive sign. So therefore, sine of this A dash will be same 8 over 70. Cos of A will be as it is part of the right angle triangle. It will be this base or adjacent side base over hypotenuse 15 over 70. And we have already observed the cause of this acute angle and the cause of this obtuse angle they have the same numerical values but there is a negative sign with obtuse angle so cause of obtuse angle is 15 over 17 therefore the cause of a dash of, that is obtuse angle will be 15 over 17 but with negative sign and tangent also have the same behavior as the cause here the tangent is 8 over 15 that is perpendicular over base and we have already learned that the tangent of obtuse angle will have the same ratio that is 8 over 15 but with a negative sign. So this is how we have applied our the conclusion which we have learned from the previous slides the trigonometric ratio of, of acute and obtuse angle of sine, cause and tangent. So there is an a question from the past paper practice here this figure is drawn on the grid lines and the vertices of this triangle is already given here and we have to find what is the tangent of BAC BAC this angle the tangent of this angle and what is the cause of BCA BCA that is this angle so this tangent BAC is the tangent of acute angle and the cause BCA, BCE, BCA is the cause of obtuse angle. So how to find these two trigonometric ratios? So we will discuss them in our next video.